Jesus Christ. Life's been so up and down since this whole COVID-19 thing has been happening. And I know I was documenting, you know, my quarantine diet, but since I started working full time again, it's been up and down. Uh, obviously stopped filming because I've my day was more filled with things to do. But also work keeps getting us lunch, getting us food. And I've been finding it very easy to, to do the wrong thing. I collectively, I think my entire office has gained about seven metric tons. Goal number one on this little journey is by June 1st, which is four days from now, to be in optimum ketosis. Preparing for the weekend, ran over to Whole Foods and grabbed three big old grass-fed ribeyes. This is my George Foreman uh, drill, because I'm in a condo in Arizona where you can't be having charcoal grills on a porch, which is flammable and dry. But it's, it's not bad, it works. Day two is the induction phase. And that's what we're doing, we're inducing. Grass-fed steak soaked in grass-fed butter. Yeah, you did. Let's try to see if we have any ketones. All right, point eight. I'm doing some kind of adventure race on the Fitbit. I'm in Arizona, it's seven o'clock and it's 91 degrees, a high of 109. So if I'm gonna get any steps, it's just gonna be in the morning. Hey, a little bulletproof coffee for breakfast and lunch. I sip on this th throughout the day. Well, today we're at 1.1. Sunshine. 0.7. It's time to paint the so close. Oh, food. So, six steaks, eight or ten chicken breasts, of six organic eggs, and one package of whatever healthy bacon they have. $143.60. Whole foods, you ain't cheap, but you are healthy. Staying in Sedona Airbnb, a cute little studio. It's got, here's the chi kitchen, and then there's the bed right there. Uh, little dining area, and uh, I'm... It's a mess because I'm kind of half unpacking. Also went to the store and grabbed some grass-fed uh, cage-free hens, eggs. That's what we'll have for breakfast when we come back. This is the view from my hot tub. Pretty awesome. And I'm a little wet. I needed one. Did about uh, 29,000 steps today. I hiked in Tempe. I hiked in Prescott Valley, or Prescott actually. Uh, got sunburned social distanced with my dad at the Moose, and uh, now I'm in Sedona. Even the walk down the road for just some coffee is a beautiful view. Oh, look at the sunburn. I'm cutting today for my hiking short. It's 8.30 in the morning. Although I did walk to the touristy part, which is very close to here, so I have about 9,000 steps at 8.30. That's good. Finally, in optimum ketosis, jeez. You know, I, for, I completely forgot I had all that, that footage from the beginning of Memorial Day through June, and July, instead of continuing, I just did that clean eating intermittent fast for 10 days. Uh, so, wow, I figured I'd share it with you now. I'm going from uh, June to July, uh, I guess, into hot for Halloween. Uh, Simply because after that last 10 days where I lost 10.6 pounds, I have plateaued for the last three weeks and I'm trying to understand why. Because I, at least I don't think I've changed any of my habits, but I've come to the conclusion that when I film things, for whatever reason, my body responds better. Because the, that first part was when I lost that first eight pounds, I plateaued. Then I went into the... Um, then I went into the clean eating, intermittent fasting, which I shared with you for that 10 day, day experience. I lost 10.6 pounds and I'm still stuck at about 18 pounds lost. I weighed myself this morning. I was 226.6, I think. Um, so, uh, and I was, uh, I was actually below 225 three weeks ago. So conclusion is I'm going to film this and 12 weeks from now is Halloween. What timing? So um, I haven't done hot for Halloween competitively or seriously since 2015, and that was really the last year I was in Wisconsin. I cannot believe 
how much time flies. I also can't believe that I look that good in a SWAT uniform. And goodness, where I am now. So um, motivation to get back to that. Uh, but then again, this is not an end game. This is not an end goal uh, in, in total. This is now a lifestyle. Uh, some of the mandates is where my blood glucose has been and where my blood pressure has been and where they are now. They are in amazing places now. So um, weight is now more secondary and lifestyle and not drinking and um, staying away from aspartame. I've totally cut that out of my life. Believe it or not, that was one of my biggest vices. And keeping this going. So, uh, yeah, 12 weeks until Halloween. I feel when I'm filming stuff, for whatever reason, my subconscious makes things happen in my body. So I guess you're going to see me for 12 weeks, at a minimum. I know the community is not even close to what it was when we originally did this over a decade ago. So I'm not expecting a bunch of joiners to do videos and whatnot and or even Facebook groups. But I'm not deterring you from it if you want to do this alongside with me. That's, that's kind of your thing, my thing, our thing. In any case, you will see me for 12 weeks. If that excites you, cool. I just hope that my, my premise, my theory, that me filming stuff, my body for some reason responds, that's the cool thing. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. I know these times are strange. See ya. I guess next week.